Art of Fighting is a younger ugly sister to the main SNK fighting game Fatal Fury. It actually looks like some kind of a summer intern project to be honest as the game can be described as a hybrid between a test course for some ideas they had and making fun of their biggest competition Capcom. Plot is pretty much Final Fight a ripoff, you know, bad guys took my sister, girlfriend, daughter, whatever, and they tried to blackmail me so screw this shit, I'm going to kick their ass. But it's not a beat em up, it's a classic two round fighting game with all the combos, special punches and bonus stages. The events took place between 70s and 80s and that kinda makes Art of Fighting what got them serious is to Batman films, a spin-off prequel I guess. We only can choose between two characters in the single player, the two player mode gives you a full spectrum of choice. But get this, two main characters are Ryo Sagazaki and Robert Garcia, get it? Ryo, it's almost like Ryu. Plus, all the childhood friendship, training together since day one, I think. Yeah, that also kinda makes you think about Ryu and Ken or Guy and Cody from Final Fight. And although Ryo's name sounds a bit like Ryu, his looks are straight up Ken Masters. And that's not it. At the end of the first bonus stage, you see Ryo learning a good old classic Hadouken. And even the name of the move is almost identical. Also, one of Robert Garcia moves is called Ryugeki Ken. Get it? Ryu Geki Ken. Again, just a little blink forwards Capcom. Then we get this character who is very similar to Street Fighter's Guile, with almost the same military background, and a masked warrior with blade fingers, just like Vega from Street Fighter. And also, guess what? Honda and Chan Lee call. They want their move back. I think we can all agree that this is a pretty strong fuck you Capcom message. Yeah, that's right. We can take your games and do what the fuck we want with them. And you can't do shit about it. But actually, while trying to piss off the competition, they made a pretty legit plot. I mean, it's a story about a guy who knows martial arts and got his sister kidnapped by some local schmucks. So he goes downtown and tries to find anyone who can give him any info. That's way more legit than flying around the world in an airplane, looking for street fights or trashing a neighborhood and provoking some serious riots to save some blonde piece of ass. The gameplay is a classic 4 button rumble. Every third stage is a bonus one. You can choose from 3 different challenges. Each one boosts your skills in a different way. The spirit bar is a totally new thing. It's right below your energy bar and you use your spirit when you do the special punches. And the lower the spirit level, the weaker your punches get. That makes sense, right? Another little detail you should notice is a camera movement, zooming in and out, depending on the distance between the fighters and there's also a visible damage characters gain during the fight. When we finish a little city trip and beat the final boss called Mr. Big, which by the way is a pretty kick-ass porn name if you ask me, we save our little Yori, but that's not the end. We are sent to so-called Mr. Karate, who is supposed to be some kind of ultimate challenge. This guy's fighting style is very similar to Ryu's and he was trained by his father, so you probably know where this is going, right? While Ryo beats the shit out of this phony, Yuri shows up asking him to stop because this man is actually there. Cliffhanger. The end. See you in the sequel, you little fuckers. Or at least at the Super Nintendo port, where they give you director's cut of an ending that shows that Mr. Karate is Ryo and Yuri's father, and he explains how he had this obsession about chasing down his arch enemy until he landed in the south town where he lost his truck and had no money left. And then Jis Howard shows up and offers him a job. And this is the start of a romance between Fatal Fury and Art of Fighting. Jis mentions something about Fatal Fury's main character's father, Jeff Bogart. He wanted him killed by Takuma, who figured out what's going on and refused to. So Howard kidnapped his daughter and started blackmailing him. The old man apologizes for being a lousy dad and a piece of shit human who decides to leave his kids and travel around the world. Ryo is like, 
It's cool that we good. We grown up to be a decent people, so I guess we can live happily as well. <laughs> Until the sequel. Art of Fighting 2 was released in 1994 and it delivered a lot of improvement in case of graphics and animation, but the gameplay on the other hand was just taken down to simple fighting game. No one is kidnapping anyone this time, we just choose our character from almost everyone from the first game, including Yuri. The goal is just to beat up all the other fighters, no special plot to motivate your actions, just pure ass whooping. The Spirit Belt was replaced by the Rage Belt, but they work pretty much the same and every third level is a bonus round that will increase your rage capacity if you beat the challenge. The plot is barely visible. Jeez Howard is growing stronger and he puts together a tournament named King of Fighters. After you beat everyone else, you have a chance to meet him. He offers your character a job, but gets pissed by the rejection, so a final fight takes place. When defeated Giz is about to receive a final punch, all lights go down and next thing you know, he is on the plane chatting with Mr. Belvedere about killing Jeff Bogart, who is getting too close to the truth about his organization. Apart from that scene, every character has his own little cutscene. The trilogy was complete in 1996, this time they use a motion capture to create a gameplay so you can see the moves are smoother than in previous games. The third part is all about Robert Garcia looking for his old friend Freya Lawrence. Apart from Ryo and Yuri who is not a playable character this time, all the other fighters are new in the series. The game also introduced some new special punches but they were criticized for being too easy to accomplish and too distractive for the opponent at the same time. Art of Fighting 3 did not deliver anything new to the genre and didn't push forward the earlier game's plot. To be honest, it's more like a spin-off. When Robert finds Freya, we learn that she was captured by Wheeler, who wanted her to deliver him a recipe for some kind of magic milkshake that makes you, like, super strong. Freya's father developed it some years ago and Weiler's father was kind of victim of an early testing. Robert tries to stop Weiler but he takes a shot of his Hulk's energy drink and hits him so hard, he falls. Then Yuri shows up to the rescue and throws a sucker punch Hadouken that gives Robert time to get his shit back together and stand for a fight. After Garcia defeats Wilder, he starts acting like a retard and Freya is so sorry for him, she decides to stay and take care of his lazy ass. Robert is like, okay babe, I gotta go. Plus, I still got this Yuri chick as a spare tire, if you know what I mean. When he arrives at the airport, Yuri comes to him and says, I really wanna be with you, in her own little fucked up way. And Robert is like, Cool, babe, just don't let people think we're actually a couple, because that would kind of make me look lame. And Ryo is like, ah, screw this, let this douchebag have my little sis. And I guess they lived happily ever after. So, Art of Fighting shown us a little Fatal Fury and King of Fighters Origins, introduced those spirit power bars to the genre and a camera zooming during the fight. Ryo and his family along with Robert Garcia will show up few more times in Fatal Fury and King of Fighters, but only as guests. Also, you will find them in crossovers like SNK vs Capcom and many others. Being a lazy prick was always kind of my thing, so... I borrowed some gameplays from other players who are really skilled in this one. You should check their channels, because they deserve a round of applause for what they achieved in this game. Also, check out the subscribe button under this video. If it's red, that means you can subscribe this channel with absolutely no money charge. So grab the chance while you can and click that red motherfucker. Cheers.